Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So it's California braces for another triple digit heat wave. That has some people worried about power outages. But tonight there is a strong belief in batteries changing the game plan in a powerful way. Here's what we mean. Last summer, the state's power grid operator issued a half dozen energy emergency alerts, and we narrowly avoided rolling blackouts. So now we're digging into why confidence like the heat is growing to avoid another problem. As California increases its reliance on renewable energy sources like solar and wind, there's a concern that there may not be enough energy during certain seasons and times of the day to keep the lights on. The question now is how do we deliver the reliability of the grid? But now this summer, the state is setting a major milestone in energy storage. California now has the capacity to store 5,600 megawatts of power using batteries. That's enough to supply more than 4 million homes. There's such an important factor that battery energy storage plays. Paul Doherty with PG&E says the growth of battery storage capacity over the last three years has been exponential. In August of 2020, PG&E had 6.5 megawatts of battery energy storage on the grid. And today we have approximately 1,200 megawatts. So why is battery storage needed in California? Solar and wind. These are intermittent resources. Batteries can help provide power in the winter when there's less sunshine or on summer evenings when it's still hot outside. Those peak periods between, say, 4 and 8 p.m. when everyone's getting home. And so the demand for energy really spikes. There's now so much battery storage, CalISO, managers of the state's power grid, has changed its day-to-day -day monitoring procedures to track how much charge is left in the battery fleet. Building more batteries, it's the latest effort to ensure California has 100% clean energy by the year 2045. We can achieve reliability through ingenuity, through entrepreneurial spirit. Now, Cal ISO says your power will stay on this weekend. Well, that's good to hear, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we like that. Well, the state says it doesn't anticipate any shortfalls this weekend or even the need for flex alerts. The state says it's ready for the heat, thanks in part to our wet winter, which refilled reservoirs and got hydroelectric plants running again. All right, let's get you.